hey guys i'm back today with another video this one is going to be brought to you by the company eon hair but before i get started on all the details guys please make sure to hit the subscribe button also turn those notifications on because you do not want to miss out on any of my videos video is definitely long overdue so i'm just showing you guys some of the items that came in the box that was a little card that showed you all of their social media they also included a wig cap and then right here i am showing you guys the invisible knots wig this one is a body wave texture it's 13 by 6 inches of parting space i do have it in a natural color this one is 180 percent in density and then it is 22 inches in length now yes it does seem a little bit more tighter but once i wash it you guys Guys, we'll see what the true pattern is going to look like after it has been washed and relaxed a little bit now with this unit you do get your two combs on the side you get a comb in the back and your adjustable straps and they also include an elastic band that you can use for extra security the knots on this one are the invisible knots you do get a very nice pre plucked hairline there are some baby hairs in the front of this unit that you can customize to your liking or you just don't have to use them at all Gonna get up close in the parting space area so you guys can see exactly what the invisible knots are looking like. It looks like they did a really good job, as you guys can see. You can barely even see any knots on this unit. So, of course, I did go ahead and wash my unit using my Aussie Moist Shampoo and Conditioner, and then that is what it is looking like. And then I want to show you guys the inside of the cap construction. I did go ahead and tint mine using the Even New York tint spray i will make sure to leave links down below for that i did use the medium one and you guys are going to see how well it fits against my skin tone nothing extra is going to have to be needed at all i also did go in and slightly pluck out just a little bit more hair in the front of the hairline however this unit does come pre-plucked already i have reviewed other pre-plucked units from the company so if you are scared to do any extra pre-plucking pre-plucking <laughs> then you are good to go but just showing you guys what this parting space is looking like if i must say so it looks very scalp like all i did was add that tint spray i did not use any type of bleach i did not have to go in and bleach the knots because they were so small and fine um the only little knots that i did notice was around the front of the hairline but in the parting space it looked really good but like i said i did pluck out a little bit more in the front just so that it could look a little bit more natural and then right here i'm just showing you guys all of the hair this is 180 percent in density and they did not skip a beat with this density on this unit it is very very thick and very full sure to kind of comb out the hair using a wide tooth comb just because it is so thick and full and then I am going to take some wax that I have and I'm going to place it around the hairline and I'm just doing things a little bit different today I'm going to cut the lace after I do this then I'm just going to take my hot comb and I'm just going to press everything back I just want to show you guys how natural everything is going to look without me having to do too much to this unit of course, all of the products that I use can be found down below in the description area. I get tons of questions about this blinged out hot comb. This one comes from Kendra's Boutique. I really, really love it. You guys see, I have not picked up my other one in a long, long time because this one definitely gets the job done. Now I'm just going to clip back my hair and I am going to work on cutting the lace off of this unit. Now on the website, this unit does come in the cap size, I believe medium and small. I'm not sure which one this is. I believe this is a medium cap, if you really want me to be honest, because usually I just get medium cap sizes from the company. I am gonna have to go around the ear just a little bit and cut a little bit of excess lace off. The only thing that I had an issue with, and you guys see me having to keep readjusting, is where the elastic band is it was so uncomfortable and it kind of hurt behind my ear a little bit that i had to kind of keep readjusting it so sometimes the elastic band can be a little bit tricky depending on where it is sitting came to the sides by my ears on both sides i did have to kind of adjust it just a little bit differently so right there by my sideburns and stuff i just kind of placed it on my sideburns just so that it was not going to be hurting by my ear but as you guys can see once i cut the lace off it blends in so well so well that i was like dang yes this lace is thin and ready 
to go okay so i'm just adjusting it as you guys can see and i'm making sure that i cut off any excess lace and then for today i am going to go in with my olive oil super hole fixes and i'm not going to use this spray all around the hairline only at the very front area just because on the sides i just felt like it wasn't needed because it was already kind of blended in really well so i'm only going to focus in the very front section Of course, to speed up the process, I am going in with my mini blow dryer, which can be found on Amazon. It is very, very loud though. So would I buy this one over the other ones? I like that it's mini and it's compact, but this one is loud. While I am blow drying my hair, just wanna make sure that all of you guys are doing well. I hope your families are doing well. I hope you guys have everything you need and you are staying safe during this quarantine time. So for me, this spray takes no time to dry down and I just wanna get up close and show you guys how well it is looking so far. So far, so good, no complaints. Now we're just going to move on to exactly how I am going to style this unit. I ain't going too many places because there ain't too many places to go. The only places to go is to the grocery store and to come home. I'm only going out for essentials, but that's okay. We are still going to be able to slay our units and get them together. So when we are leaving the house, we are going to be on point. Really unsure of how I wanted to style this unit because it looks so good without having any type of baby hairs in the front. And you guys seen, I haven't even put any powder no powder in the front of this hairline and i am not going to either yes you heard that right i'm not going to put any powder in this hairline but i am going to go ahead and curve it to the right because you guys know that's my favorite side to wear my part on is the right side and then i'm just going to take a little bit of the wax stick and my hot comb and just make sure to press everything out so that it is laying down straight i did not notice a lot of short hairs or flyaways when it came to this unit when i was parting it now I'm just gonna take my Garnier Fructi Sleek and Shine Serum, and I'm gonna make sure to run this throughout the hair. I really am focusing more towards the ends of this hair, just because I did feel like it was coming off just slightly dry. And because this hair is so thick, I want it to kind of stay in place and not be all over the place. Um, and with this unit, as you guys can see, once I washed it, the waves did leave, but a little bit stayed towards the end of the hair. I did not try to curl this unit either. I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like after I was washing it and to just kind of give you guys an idea of the different kind of ways you can wear this unit. All right, guys, so this is the final look of this style. It is definitely looking really nice. Um, that is what the ends of the hair is looking like. This one is in the length 22 inches once again, which is the longest length. They do, however, have this one starting at 10 inches. So if you wanted to pick between 10 and 10 to 22, you definitely could. Once again, I have the 180% density, which is very full. They also offer this in 150%. If you want it to look a little bit more natural and not as heavy, then I would definitely go with the 150%. That is what the hairline and the parting space is looking like once again. Of course, you don't have to add the tint spray. That is something that I wanted to do, but it did help me to not have to add any powder and it came off looking natural. So I was definitely happy about that. And you can also just get this in the normal lace front wig without the invisible knots, which will cost you a little bit less if you aren't interested in the invisible nothing this lace is on a thinner side so I had no issues with laying it down you do get your six inches of parting space so this unit is going to be very versatile you don't have to just wear it down you can wear it half up, like a cute little half up, half down. And then you can also part it in the middle and on the side with no issues. Now with this hair, however, because it is so heavy, I did get some shedding with this. And I also did get a little bit of tangling. Biggest complaint is the elastic band where it was placed at. I had to kind of maneuver it around to where it was going to be comfortable on my head because if I would have placed it exactly where it was supposed to be, 
it was very uncomfortable and it was hurting a little bit. So that is one of my biggest cons. So now I'm just gonna kind of play around with this. I wanna show you guys what this is going to look like in the middle part. As you guys can see, I combed it all the way back and it still looks very, very good. Just taking the wax stick in the middle so everything can be laid down. And then I'm gonna take the hot comb and just begin to press everything out so that everything can be laying really flat. So as you guys can see, this unit looks really good without any baby hairs. No, you don't have to do baby hairs. I mean, you don't have to do baby hairs on any unit. That is just like a personal thing, but I decided to not do that with this particular style. However, I did want to kind of tuck it behind my ear just to show you guys how nice and natural it is going to look. I did have to play with a little bit because of where that band was sitting and it was kind of hurting a little bit. But I'm just combing some of the hair back and then pulling some of the hair towards the front just to kind of hide that lace on the side that I did not spray down. Guys, that is what this middle part style is looking like. Yes, I am feeling it. She is looking cute. She is looking flat, especially tucked behind my ear. And I'm only 5'2", y'all. This hair is definitely kind of swallowing me up a little bit. So now we're just going to move on to the next easy style. I'm only just going to kind of comb this back and put this into a low ponytail just to show you guys how good that is going to look also. I always get requests to kind of do ponytails, even if it's a low one, so you guys can see exactly how it is going to look. But you are not going to have to worry about a thin ponytail. Thin ponytail where? Not on this one. Yeah, guys, let me know what you think about this wig. I think all the styles are really cute. I think this was easy for me to install and it looked natural without me having to go in and add any type of powder, which I was happy about. If you guys are feeling this, I'll make sure to leave all the details down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to share this video, turn those notifications on, like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.